far as his teaching go, I am unreachable. I'm number one in your top Let's 10. Go. Miss Williams, been popping. Soon as for the new school, you're dropping. No COVID 19, ain't worried about a thing when the kind of me ain't no stopping. What's popping? Miss Evans on the beat, so tap in. Yeah, you got options, but you better pass my class, no flopping. Gonna log in every day, every morning I'm watching. Yeah, we virtual and you know it's up, so we about to take it up a notch. Yeah. If this video, this video is absolutely, it's great. I see why so many people are in love with it. But oh, they killed it. They, it's better than the original. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you two go from here? I mean, <laughs> it's going to be a remix. I, I, I got a yeah, remix. Yeah. <laughs> I finally got my head right I move in silence, you won't catch me in them headlights And they love to say they love you if they need some If they see you moving solid in your breads, right? I finally got my head right I move in silence, you won't catch me in them headlights And they love to say they love you if they need some If they see you moving solid in your breads, right? Pick up the county, put it down for the town Everyone keep Welcome to the Head Right Podcast, episode eight. Bro, we, we just go. had we our go. biggest guests on who, Ms. Williams, Ben Poppin. Ms. Callie Evans, been <laughs> popping. It's been all over the news. It's been on, they've been on Good Morning America. Um, ABC News, you name ABC it. ABC News, everything. That was, that was amazing. They were, they were great women, too. That was one of the more energetic podcasts that we have done. And we've done some good ones. We've done some good ones, but this it one was just roll. Like it, it just felt so natural. It felt cool. They were smiling. They were energetic. They were fun. It was, it was a very cool thing to see. And I think that there's things that could be learned. Um, I mean, I'm not encouraging everyone to be a rapper, but you know what I mean. Find, find those ways to engage your kids, find the, especially as teachers. Like I, I know for me, like I'm gonna try to do that now. I mean, I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm no rapper, but I, yeah. I mean that that. How, I loved how they did that. Like they it's took, Great. they took, they took, yeah, they took the economics thing and gave her some bar, give them, give her some bars and yeah. a, a beat. And that's what it's it about. That's what it's about. And like with just with school in general, I think just finding those ways to engage your kids in a way that's fun and a way for them to learn. And that's the cliche thing that, of course, that's what every teacher wants to do, but it's, you really got to do the work to get creative. They did the work and they've been doing this for a while now and you guys are going to hear um, some of the cool things that they have done. So uh, some good there's stuff. Nothing, there's nothing else to be said. Play to, play to that's it. Yeah. Enjoy, guys. Peace. Let's do that. So thank you again for joining us. Uh, first off, we wanted to uh, ask you both how you guys got into teaching. Um, First of all, was it something you fell into? Was it a passion that you had growing up? Or was there a certain experience? Tell us a little bit about that first. Um, well, it most definitely wasn't a passion. It is now, but yeah. it was not. I actually went to school to be a lawyer. Um, okay. Went to school, I got my bachelor's in political science. And it wasn't until my senior year that I said, being a lawyer is something that I did not want to do. <laughs> um, I said, I'm about to go to law school? Yeah, you can count me out. So um, it's a lot. I it's a lot. To just go ahead. Yeah, I decided to just graduate because I didn't want to spend more time in school. And actually, after that, I started working at a daycare. Um, and it wasn't until then I said, oh, my God, I really love kids. And then I worked in the after school program. And I was like, I love the older kids. So I actually just applied and I got the job. And after that, that's when I just fell in love with teaching and I love what I do. It seems to work out that way with a lot of teachers that I talk to. It's like it kind of just like teaching finds them rather than right. like them, them finding teaching. Right. Definitely. Well, for me, I mean, my story is similar. Uh, I have a bachelor's in mass communications and a master's in business administration so i was working in television at the time and miss williams she was already my friend and so she was already working at monroe and she told me that the, um, they were opening up a fine arts department they were building a new fine arts department so i'm like okay that's in my field so i would be able to do well in that job so um she gave me the principal's number i called him and he told me to come in to talk and when I went in, it was an interview, and I wow. got the job. Wow. So, and then wow. after that first year, I fell in love with it, and I feel like it's my passion as well. So how many years have both of you been teaching? This will be my fourth year, and okay. this is my third year. And this is your third year. Okay, okay. The one thing that I noticed from um, doing our research uh, before the podcast was like, 
you guys have been like putting out videos. It wasn't just like one that popped off. Like I saw the Cardi B money. The Cardi's my girl. So like, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I really, I, I like that one That's a like, lot. And you guys kind of, this has kind of been like a little bit of a cycle and it wasn't just one thing that popped off. Tell us a little bit about the grind per se and kind of just your thought process of um, the kids kind of like this. Let's, let's keep going with it. Um, well, it actually started my first year of teaching, and I actually did an end-of-the-school year rap instead of a back-to-school rap. And just to kind of celebrate my successful first year of teaching, I grabbed some students, some of my cheerleaders, and we did a video in my trailer. That was my first class when was in a trailer. Wow. So I came up with the rap, and literally, we played the music from the board. Um, I had one of my students recording it on my phone. Um, so then Ms. Evans, like, like she said, she joined me next, the following year at Monroe. So I asked her, would she be interested in doing the back to school routes with me? And she said, yes, thank you, Jesus. Um, <laughs> so I was so excited because we were already friends already. So I was so excited that she said yes. So the years after that, um, we just kept making them and I was just so happy because this year the production was just completely different from oh, this it was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, did you? It wasn't a phone. There was no way that was no, a phone. no phone. Yeah, that was legit. <laughs> so we went <laughs> to the booth, and we probably went to the booth the last time, but we didn't have a videographer. We just was filming on our phones. But this time, we went all out. Went to the studio. Really felt like some real rappers. That's got crazy. a videographer to really record a production. So it was really amazing. This is kind of off topic, but still kind of on topic like was music any of your like passion before like because me like in high school nick can attest to this i thought I was, oh yeah oh I yeah wasn't, the <laughs> i put out a couple <laughs> songs just for like my friends and stuff because I, I enjoy music it's something i enjoy to this day like is that something you guys enjoy it seems like outside of the classroom like were you did you ever have a career in music you try to pursue or <laughs> No, we've never had a career in music, but we have a love for music. And yeah. so we always try to meet the kids where they are. And we know that they love music. So if you take the words out of songs, you have the beat, you have the tempo, and that's what grabs the um, students' attention. So we wanted to use what we know as far as our lingo, our diction in our voice. We wanted to use what we already knew to incorporate this in the rap and to grasp the students' attention. Have you guys used it all, like, while you're teaching? Yes. <laughs> yes, I know for me, um, one of the assignments, actually, last week, we started school on Monday. So one of the assignments that my students had to do was they had to create a rap of their own, but it had to be dealing with economics. Um, I gave them different topics like money, supply and demand, consumer producer, and then they had to create their rap. They had to give me eight lines, and I gave them instrumentals to choose from. And that was the assignment. They had to present it or rap it in front of me. I would have gotten well, over an the screen. I would have gotten an A in your class. I'm just saying it now. <laughs> I would have been in school that. every day. <laughs> I would have been front row, like, hand <laughs> Yeah, they really enjoyed it, especially because we were virtual. So they didn't get a chance to get that face-to-face interaction but they still were able to kind of know who we are as teachers and we already kind of built a bond with them so they really enjoyed that assignment we're about to start school on monday how's that been for you guys so far being virtual well we love it um i and i guess maybe because we have high schoolers um so they're older i feel like they're gaining a self of responsibility independence um, just logging in, making sure they're doing the work that they're listening. I can't speak for the ones who teach middle school or elementary school, but high school, it really is amazing. I love it. That's what's up. My, my girlfriend, she's a second grade teacher, and she, and she started teaching this weekend. I'm sorry, this week. She's been coming home with stories like, the kids won't pay attention. They're in the room where they're not supposed to be. And I'm like, it's funny because, like, virtual or not, kids will find ways to be bad, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're going to... And, and I think just with this being new, it's going to be a learning process for everybody and just taking the punches and going with it. You guys are amazing yeah. to continue to do your work and you add, adding all the, the excitement to it is just inspiring just for the really country to see right now. So that's Thank just you. very commendable. Um, transitioning to what's popping in that particular video, when did you guys notice that one particularly starting to catch traction and were you like, did you wake up one day and say, well, look at all these views? Or like, how, how did that kind of <laughs> transpire? Well, we, we posted the video Sunday night at 7.30, the day before school started. So I know for me, when I posted it, I just put my phone down because I was like, okay, I need to get ready for school. 
And when I saw that my phone continuously kept going off with notifications, like nonstop from 7.30 until, like it's starting to slow down now, but for this whole week, my phone has been blowing up with calls, emails, texts, notifications from social media. So I knew that night that it was That's really going to be something. And for me, um, I don't have notifications that come to my phone. I don't really like for my phone to vibrate or anything like that. I'm with you, I <laughs> don't either. Good choice. Yeah, I, I like that. I, I don't really like that. But um, actually, I got a, a. I think somebody caught my husband, and they was like, "Yo, Jack Harlow just commented on <laughs> <her> video," <laughs> and I was like. Stop lying. <laughs> so they said, no, seriously, go look right now. Jack Harlow commented. So I said, okay, let me go check. Let me just go. Oh, my God. He really, so he really did crazy. comment. So that was probably the it moment when I knew. I knew then after Jack commented, it was going to yeah. go crazy. It was real. Did you know yeah, Jack was going to be real. Did you know Jack was going to be on Good Morning America? Was that a surprise? Yes. That was awesome. I love that. That looked dope. That part looked dope. Yeah was that was a highlight because we we were just happy that he commented on her video so we were good with that so yeah. for him to actually come on the show and then it's to cool. get up, it was it was amazing that's what's up it's cool to see that especially like um with social media and just the world we're living in the crazy world we're living in um gonna touch on that a little bit later but the world we're living in the access that people across the country can have to people in a small town and next thing you know you're on tv good morning america talking to rap stars and it's just right. crazy, how, crazy how fast our world is right now yeah. mm -hmm. now have you guys we've seen so much of the positivity but has there been any negative feedback that you guys have gotten at all honestly i i don't know i, I hope not, not i really hope not yeah. the bars were the bars were good there couldn't have been any negative i know <laughs> any negative well there's always going to be haters regardless but honestly we have not come across the negative feedback i I think we've probably seen people talking like, how could y'all say something? But we personally have not seen it. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's and then up. we have our supporters who are ready to have our back. Like, they're ready to say, uh-uh, y'all not about to talk about them. So we haven't, they have shielded everything from us. So we haven't seen anything. Some shielding is just kind of a, uh, a tough topic, a weird topic right now. This is, I'm not going to lie. This has been kind of a weird day for me. I had to like, meditating and nick went to go play basketball just to get my mind right to do this podcast just with the whole jacob blake situation and just the whole summer to be honest it's, it's been a toll just on my mental and everyone's mental as a teacher you have to i'm sure you have to know that these kids are thinking about this as well how do you or do you address that um topic in your classrooms if you do it all in a way that's kind of just not overbearing for the students you know what i mean yeah, well, um, for us, we try to have, well, what we have is circle time um, during our uh, class time. And circle time is basically a time where we talk about everything. So it could be things going on in the media or it could be politics. But that's basically our time where we get to bond with our students and get just get to um, hear their opinions about certain things. So we use circle time just to talk about what's going on and to get their feelings. And that's really good because they, they get to express themselves openly without judgment. And they're able to tell us how they feel. We're able to talk. And so I think that's really the best part about it is actually getting a chance to talk about it, just to see how they're feeling, get their feelings out. And um, ultimately, we just we don't necessarily come to a conclusion on anything. We just come to an understanding of how each other feel. That's what it's about, coming to yeah. that understanding. Yeah. Like, that's what we're trying to do with this podcast. We're gathering different perspectives. We're gathering different experiences. And for people who watch this, they may agree with us. They may not. But either way, you're going to hear that experience and, and hopefully feel it. And that's just, we're just trying to continue the conversation and um, hopefully um, ignite some change with this whole podcast. So it's cool Definitely. to hear that teachers in the classroom across the country are kind yeah. of doing the same thing. Definitely. So, so where do you two go from here? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's on the remix. I, I, I got a yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I don't have a rap. I'm kidding. Yeah. What if, what if yeah, I had a whole You got to put, put them out there. <laughs> he Jack. <laughs> yeah, but what's next? What, you, is this something you want to continue? Yeah, yeah. It's it going to be bigger from here. Like, what, what's next? Um, well, 
I really don't know. Um, whatever comes our way, we'll see. We don't have any definite answers right now. We most definitely love our jobs and we love teaching. So anything that impacts the kids, um, we're down for it as long as it still has to do with the kids. So, um, but who knows? That's the right person might call it, so who knows? You never know. You never uh, know. Exactly, exactly. Um, before we let you guys go, we're both going to buy some of the some of your shirts. So I was going to ask, is there a website that we could go yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, where can we get them? Yes, audreyandcallie.com. We'll put it right on the right on the bottom. Of course. Of the okay, <laughs> thank y'all. <laughs> I do have a question for you guys, though. What's up? Yeah. What, what, what's your favorite line in both of our raps? I like Miss Williams. Ooh. Been popping. That part was yeah. hard. <laughs> that part was hard. That was I say good. that. Yeah, I say I, that. Before y'all hopped in, I was in here dancing. I'm like, Miss Williams, been popping. Yeah. <laughs> That's my mine. Uh, mine was probably past my class. No flopping. Okay. Uh, I like that one. Okay. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Okay, y'all pass. Good job, students. <laughs> <laughs> what if we were like, ah, crap. Uh, <laughs> right, would have failed. Yeah, <laughs> had some homework to do. <laughs> no, we thank you both for hopping on with us today. This was um, a lot of fun. This was probably the, one of the more fun podcasts we've done, especially with two amazing women like yourself. We were both so nervous, by the way. Like, I, we were too. So we were so nervous talking to you guys. We're like... <laughs> Why? I definitely was. I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys are just are popping, amazing, popping. amazing women. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank course. you. We of wish course. you the best of luck in the future and in the classroom, virtually or in person. All right. Thank y'all make sure y'all get y'all shirts. Oh, uh, we will. I'm about we to do will, it right for now. Sure. For sure. Thank right, y'all. Have a good day. <laughs> See thank you guys. Have a great night. Bye. That's all we need. That's all we need. I finally got my head right I move in silence, you won't catch me in them headlights And they love to say they love you if they need some If they see you moving solid in your bread's right I finally got my head right I move in silence, you won't